in activity 2.10, we'll build another query or, or copy it from an existing query and then we'll modify it to sort the query results. So we'll take the 2A instructor's IDs query, double click that. With that selected, go to the backstage view, save object as, delete the prepended copy of, and where it says instructors underbar IDs, highlight that and type department underbar sort query, and save that off. Click on the home tab, right click on the query tab and go to design view. Now, if you'll notice in the design grid of the query design tool, there's a row called sort. So choose the last name field and click in it and you get a drop down box. Drop it down and select ascending. So now we've, when we run this query, it will select just these rows and it will sort last name in ascending order. Click run to inspect your results. So last name should be sorted A to Z and it is. Return to design view and go to first name, click in that sort field and select ascending. Now click run and we should see the last name sorted A to Z with the first name sorted A to Z within each last name. So if we have any duplicate last names and let's scroll down here to see if we can find some and we do, Whitmer. Notice that Christian and Deborah are CD in alphabetical order. Now, um, staff shows up in the S's, but it has no first name, so it's gonna. That's still um, that's still logical within the the sorting scenario here. Okay. Lastly, go back to Design View and go to the Department Sort row or sort box and click on descending and click run and now let's take a look at this so the department is uh, sorted in reverse order with marketing at the top and within the marketing department we have last name sorted and then first name sorted and that holds true all the way down and when we look at Whitmer, which both happen to be in the accounting section We'll notice that uh, department is sorted as the outermost and Whitmer is supported as the second outermost and then the first name is sorted as the innermost. Now when you do a query it's based on how the query finds the columns listed from left to right. So no matter what order you set the sort in, when the query runs it will always go from left to right and look at the department with the sort criteria as the outermost field and the furthest right column with the sort criteria as the innermost field. So the order of the columns will determine how the sort works in the query.